Well, I think what you're saying is true about some sales managers, especially some sales managers in some bigger companies. Um, but I, I don't think we can make a broad statement like that across the board out of our 500,000 uh, assessments, that pool of data has close to 100,000 on sales management, so the data wouldn't, wouldn't bear out what you said. It would be true in some situations. There are some awfully weak sales managers, and there are some awfully disconnected sales managers, and there are some awfully political sales managers. But like in everything else, you know, the 80-20 the, the rule applies. Uh, by the way, how many of you know about the 80-20 rule? That 80% 80 of your sales force will suck. <laughs> Well, <clears throat> you can fix that in, in a hurry. There's a shortcut. Just obliterate the rule. Get rid of that 80-20 rule. It's gone. Never existed. And replace it with the 100-0 rule. Remember I was talking about overachieving. Well, how do you get to overachieving? You get rid of the 80-20 rule. You replace it with my 100-0 rule. The 100-0 rule simply states that 100% of our salespeople will be overachievers. You can't get that to happen until that's the rule. You can't make it an expectation until that's the rule. You can't come up with a plan to get that to happen until that's the rule. You can't come up with a strategy until that's the rule. Now, Phyllis did bring up a good point about the difference between strategic and tactical. And certainly at, at the VP of sales level, we need sales leaders to be more strategic than tactical. While at the line level sales manager position, we need them to be more tactical than strategic. And at all levels, we need them to act like leaders as opposed to salespeople with supervisory responsibility or like supervisors with, with no management responsibility. So there is some, some truth to what you said. It's just not as across the board it applies to everybody as you're making it out to be because the data doesn't back that up. I have time.